I gotta watch out for this guy. Stuff's falling out of his, uh... Oh, and I got stuff falling out of the truck behind me, in front of me. And then I got this cop car blazing through with a dirt, like a mountain bike on the back of it. What is going on? <laughs> I miss my off-road bike. My uh, either the CSC or the RX4, like another dirt bike or an adventure bike. Oh man, that sounds so good. Every now and then I like flip shifting with my clutch. It brings it back to the old days. But man, that quick shifter is like a lot. It's just the best. I love quick shifters. But yeah, like I want to get, I want to keep posting videos. I want to get back into the swing of things. Uh, it's just, you know, maybe I'll try to like focus, dedicate myself to like one video a week or something. Maybe that'll work. It just feels like there's like no time. I, mean, I spend a lot of time at work, and then, you know, basically my new job. Uh, you know, requires, I work a lot with like international vendors and time zone differences make a, make it very hard to get a good the, the time zone differences make it difficult to uh, to work uh, normal hours. <laughs> so lately I know it's an excuse but uh, it's a good excuse I just uh, I, I like what I do I like engineering it's been a passion of mine I've always wanted to be an engineer uh, and it's very accomplished I feel very accomplished but you know I also like YouTube videos and I like being creative corner you guys see that corner in my video all the time it's the best the best corner for a motorcycle <laughs> oh man I love it that time I actually got a little bit of a, a little bit of headroom to be able to actually use it <laughs> yeah I bet so I went through recently and I tried to just comment on every reply to every comment 
I know I'm like really late on like 90% of those. I, I did used to do it on my free time. I, I still do. It's just, you know, every now and then when I'm like at my lunch break, I'll just pull up my phone and start replying. But I didn't realize how backed up I got. I got way backed up. And uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I've, I've tried my best. Uh, when I first started this channel, I had like a hundred subscribers, and I don't have. I don't. I'm not acting like I have a whole lot, but I have a thousand now. And uh, I got a lot of people that aren't subscribed commenting. And uh, if you aren't aren't subscribed, then you continue to watch the videos and comment. Please subscribe. It's free. It's free of charge. And uh, yeah, just uh, it helps me out. I, I would love to make YouTube like a full time thing. I, you know, I. That'd be awesome. I love engineering, but if I could work YouTube full times and ride bikes for a living, that would be awesome. That would be a dream come true. But uh, yeah, I, I was commenting on all of them. I, not all of them. I, I went back to about a year, and then I realized, yeah, maybe these people, uh, maybe they already bought the bike or they already got their answer question answered. So I should probably just uh, focus on anything new coming through. <laughs> such a good day today man it's like the perfect riding weather man I really do miss the dirt stuff I don't know I was thinking about I was looking at like a lot of some some Chinese bikes uh, dirt bikes like the Titan I think or the T Titan 250 DXL or some, something something uh, it looked a little more dirt capable than the uh, the Hawk so I've been on the fence about that one I'm I may pull the trigger I've also really liked the the new CSC TT250. Yeah, that new TT250 just looks a little bit nice. It's a, it's not like a, it still looks like a Hawk, like a rebranded Hawk with a better engine. Cause it's got a counterbalance engine instead of the, the Hawks engine. But it has like that dash looks really good. It looks a little bit more dirt capable. And I like CSC. CSC is a really good company. Somebody had asked me, uh, do you think CSC, like what are, you, what are your thoughts about the parts availability if CSC ever goes out of business? Uh, I, I, you know, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Those, those bikes are all over the country, all over the world, not the country. And they're very, very uh, popular in like Asian markets. So I think parts are still going to be very available. Uh, and, you know, you can probably get them on eBay and stuff. I gotta watch out for this guy. Stuff's falling out of his, uh... Jesus, what is going on? I got stuff falling out of the truck behind me, in front of me. And then I got this cop car blazing through with a dirt, like a mountain bike on the back of it. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't think CSC's gonna go around. I don't... So I think parts are gonna be very available because of how popular those bikes are everywhere else in the world. Um, they sell them under the, the Zongxing name and like everywhere else. Uh, plus, I don't think CSC is going to go anywhere anytime soon. I think their bikes are priced very nicely. They are again a little pricey, but you're pay you get what you pay for. Like you're actually, they're not they're like the prices are going up, but their their bikes are getting way better. So, and I, I you know they're coming out with a lot of really cool stuff. So I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. And even if they do go out of business, the parts are going to be super available. They're going to be, you're, you're going to find them anywhere. You might have to, you know, wait a long time for shipping, but 
wait a long time for shipping, but uh, other than that, I think it'll be good. Oh yeah, I recently went to Subi Fest. I, I don't own a Super anymore, but I'm still a huge fanboy. Super Motorsports USA is my favorite motorsport brand ever. Um, but yeah, I went to Subi, Subi Fest, Florida. I got to see the Huck, family Huckster in person. That's uh, Travis Pastrana's like uh, Hoonigan Jim Connor car. It's that that thing is this is nuts. I, I know it's nuts from watching the videos, but actually seeing it in person, it's a whole nother level of crazy. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, we got, I got to see the family Huckster in person. I got to see uh, Bucky Lassick and, the, and Betty. Bucky and Betty. That's the orange Subaru WRX uh, STI hatchback. Uh, it, oh, dude, it was like it was a lot of fun. That was a huge turnout. They unveiled the new WRX TR, which is uh, no longer tuner ready. It's a track ready. Uh, but eh, it is what it, it is. What it is. It, it was. It made a lot of improvements, but I would say I prefer the tuner ready. Something a little bit more affordable, a little bit more uh, stripped down, ready for tuning and uh, modifications. But I, I get it. They want to sell a car at a higher price tag, and they want, they, you know, it is what it is. If 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 they do, if they wanted to do that, I would have preferred like an STI comeback. But you know, they did the TR thing, and it, you know, I, I don't have any say over that. It looks good, and, it, and the improvements they made are, are good, but. Like I said, if I was going to buy a, a more track-ready WRX, I'd want it to be the STI. I, I, I wouldn't want the TR, so... Yeah. Yeah, Subi Fest was awesome. Uh, I probably, I definitely want to go next year. It's, it's just a ton of fun. If you're a Subaru fan, if you're a car fan, it's a lot of fun to go to. And uh, Subi Fest Florida is the last stop on the, the tour, so usually, usually they go out with a bang, so this year they did. <laughs> We can take in the views. There's a lot of really good views on this this road. That's a crazy house, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. That's an awesome crazy house. Man, these views are amazing.
do it for today guys. It's the, the roads are getting a little busier. It's a nice morning ride on a nice cool day. So uh, yeah, hopefully it stays this weather. This weather stays because uh, this is like the perfect riding weather. I, I really do appreciate all of you commenting on the videos. And uh, I really appreciate it if you just subscribe. It's free of charge and it helps me out and encourages me to make more videos. And uh, yeah, I just really appreciate it. I know I've been pretty slow to post videos lately and I know I've been really bad at replying but I'll, I'll do my best to do better this year. That's going to be my uh, my resolution <laughs> for 2024 and that's a little early for uh, New Year's stuff but I just got to get this road out real quick. Gear, dude, that was a little bit high of a gear, but yeah, that was still fun. Anyway, as always, it'd be super awesome if you liked the video, and it'd be super dope if you subscribe. But until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.